I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Greetings in the name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is another day. It is a wonderful day that God has given us by His grace and God will see us through by His precious grace that is available in Christ. I tell you, my dear friend, no matter what you might be going through, by the grace of God, you can make it. By the grace of God, all will be all right. All will fall into place. By His grace, he will make a way for us, not by our own merit, not by what we do, but by His grace. As you know, my dear friend, today is Monday and on Monday we share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you that will bless you. I want to encourage you as I share this word with you and I pray for you today. Comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as we go on and we pray and we have faith, God will do miraculous things. I want to start by saying, in this season, many people are coming to God. And on the other side, also many people have lost interest in God because a lot of things have happened and they've got a lot of questions. Those questions sometimes can lead us to a place where our faith is in trouble. But I want to encourage you, my dear friend, if you find yourself in that place, don't move away from God, move to Him. Ask Him what is going on, what is wrong and speak to the Lord, and He will help you. Now, as we begin, my dear friend, I want to encourage you, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender, and say this out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray, help me to press in, help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that he gave me to share. Things may happen to you in this season. People may walk away from you. Things may go wrong at the last minute when least expected, but don't give up. Understand and know that whatever the situation is, God is with you and he will make all things work together for your good. What was meant for evil, God will turn around for your good. What was meant to destroy you, God will turn around and use that to promote you. What was meant to cause disaster, God will take that and use it for His glory in your life, in your family, and in your surroundings. Believe Him and trust Him, and He will make a way. It is not the end until Jesus says it's the end. And sometimes we look at things from our point of view, and we don't see the full picture, but God sees the full picture. And what to us may look like the end, in God's eyes is only the beginning, because He sees even those things that we don't, and He is able to make a way. My dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord and as I received this word, the Lord led me to three scriptures that I want to share with you. The first one is from the book of Psalms, chapter 84, from verse 11 to verse 12. It says, For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Hallelujah. So let's just break that down quickly and let us discuss it. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. In the times when it is cold, and now I'm talking figuratively, in the times when it is cold, in the times when it is dark, he is our sun, our sunshine. He brings warmth and he brings light and he dispels the darkness. Furthermore, he is our shield. In the times when we face tremendous attack and we don't know what to do, one place that we can run to and we will find refuge is into the presence of God. God will protect you. You see, the thing when it comes to your relationship with God as a born again believer, is you need to start trusting walking by faith and not by sight. Because in the natural realm, as you run to God, sometimes if your faith is not in the right place, it will look like you're alone. But in actual fact, God is with you and God is protecting you. 
God's invisible hand of protection is around you. And he will cover you, he will shield you. You are not open and vulnerable to the attacks of the enemy, but as you run to God, he shields you and he protects you. Now let's go on. The Lord bestows favor and honor. So it is from the Lord that favor and honor comes. Even in the times of shaping, don't despise what God is doing in your life. Because it might be difficult now, but in a short time, you will see what God is doing. You will see that He is shaping you and positioning you to receive favor and honor. The Bible also says, Do not be like the horse or the mule, which are senseless and have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and bridle, or they will not come near you. So we shouldn't be those kind of believers who only come to God because of the bit and brittle experience. But we should seek Him always, because He is like air that we breathe. We need Him in order to survive. As believers, as people of the Spirit, people who are born again and baptized in the Holy Spirit and in fire, we need God's presence in order to receive our life. Now, it goes on and it says in the book of Psalms, chapter 84, verse 11 and 12, it says, no good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. And we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. So it is not by our own works, but it is by the grace that is availed to us through Christ. So even as you are right now, as you have faith in Jesus, by the grace available in Christ, you are in right standing with God. It goes on and says, No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. So as you are in Christ and you have received this free gift, that Christ has made available to us. He paid a huge price for it, but He gives it to us freely through love. As you receive this, there is no good thing that God will withhold from you. So hold on to God and believe in Him. It goes on and says, O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. I'll read that once again. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Now the next scripture that I want to read to you is from the book of Psalms chapter 18 verse 2. It says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I'll read that once again. The Lord is my rock, meaning He is the place where we find stability in this ever-changing world. This is a dynamic environment. Things are changing. Things are constantly changing. And if you look elsewhere apart from God, you won't find a rock of stability. But in God, you will find a rock that you can find refuge, that you can build your foundations on, that you can stand strong on, and it will not shake. It is a rock that doesn't shake. No matter what may happen, it does not shake. He is the solid rock. It goes on and says, And my fortress, my deliverer. In this season, I encourage you, even going forward, make God your fortress and your deliverer. Make Him your refuge. Make Him your fortress. Make Him your deliverer. It goes on and says, My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge. Take refuge in God. Let Him be your shield, because He will protect you. He will not let you down at the last minute. He will not leave you vulnerable for the attack of the enemy at the last minute, but He will see you through and He will deliver you. As human beings, we make so many mistakes. As children of God, we make mistakes. Some of those mistakes are small and they've got small repercussions. And some of the mistakes we make are big and they've got big repercussions. But as children of God, we should always know and believe. My dear friend, I want to encourage you. You should know and believe that as you run to God, He will hear you, He will forgive you, and He'll help you out from that situation. Understanding and knowing that we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ is one of the most important things we need to know from the Bible, especially in the New Testament. If you read the whole Bible, what Jesus did for us will make total and complete sense. You'll understand what God did, and you will see the full picture. Now let's go on. It says, My shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. 
My dear friend, I encourage you, if you want to be a born-again believer who succeeds in their purpose and their destiny, make God your stronghold. No matter what may happen, you will not be shaken. Now, the last but not the least scripture that I want to share with you is from the book of Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. It says, And I am sure of this, that he who begun a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Now, the work that God has started in your life, whatever it might be, from you being saved as a born-again believer, from you going on, from you walking in your purpose and your destiny, from that business opportunity that God has given you, from whatever God has called you to do, so long as God is the one who has called you to do that, the work that He begun in you, He will be faithful to complete it. Hallelujah. Say, God will complete the work that he has begun in my life. Say it once again and mean it with all of your heart. Say, God will complete the work that he has done in my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising God. We always begin by praising God because we are not just seeking him for what we can get from him. But we are seeking him because we want him. So let us begin to praise Him. Praise Him from your own words. Father, we praise You and we thank You. You are our God. You are our refuge. You are our fortress. You are our very present help in time of need. You are the one who delivers us. You are the one who sees us through. You are the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way. And even today, You are fighting for my dear friend who is watching this video. And You are blessing my dear friend. No matter what may be happening, my dear friend who is watching this video can take refuge and rest in you. Knowing that man may fail, human plans may fail, things that we try to do may fail, but you God, you will never fail. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the creator of heaven and earth, the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are the God who speaks and you live and you fight for your children. Even right now, in this time period, you are fighting for your children. You are delivering your children. You are seeing your children through. I give you praise and I thank you for good health. I give you praise and I thank you for blessing. I give you praise and I thank you for finances. I give you praise and I thank you that you supply all my dear friend's needs. In the name of Jesus. I give you praise and I thank you for your love. I give you praise and I thank you for your love on my dear friend's life. I give you praise and I thank you for your blessing on my dear friend's life. I give you praise and I thank you for some of the greatest blessings that we can receive, that you have given my dear friend, that's their family, their children, the people around them. I give you praise and I thank you for all that you do for my dear friend and that you are doing a great thing even today from glory to a greater glory. And you are touching, you are healing, you are changing, you are delivering, you are setting free my dear friend and taking my dear friend up to a greater glory. For the best is yet to come to all those who believe. And you are not done. The work that you started in my dear friend's life, you will be faithful to complete it. We give you praise and we thank you for this. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in whom we believe and we trust. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, now as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you once again, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even right now, bless my dear friend mightily. Bless my dear friend so much so, even in this season. Father, if my dear friend is in a place where something has happened suddenly, that's such a shock, and they don't know how to deal with it. It is such a shock and it's so much of a pull down after all that you've done. Father, I pray that you will deliver my dear friend and make a way. Give my dear friend the blueprint of how they should go and how they should deal with this. My dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, lead and guide my dear friend. And right now, release your power, release your high ranking warring angels to begin to fight for my dear friend and see my dear friend through. I ask this in Jesus name. Lord, wherever the devil has brought an attack against my dear friend to try and stop my dear friend, to try and cause my dear friend to go down, to try and cause my dear friend to go down, Father, I pray that you will turn it around, turn the situation around for my dear friend's benefit, that what was meant for evil, you will turn around for good. 
and the scripture may come to pass even in my dear friend's life, my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter. I thank you for miracles, signs and wonders that are happening in my dear friend's life. And my dear friend will never be the same again because we go from glory to a greater glory. And in you, in faith, only in faith, knowing of your goodness and your mercy, we decree and declare the best is yet to come. The best of what you want to do, the best of your love, the best of your goodness, the best of your mercy, the best is yet to come. The best in my dear friend's relationship with you is yet to come. My dear friend is going from glory to a greater glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My dear friend, may you be blessed. May you go up and not come down. May you experience God's goodness, even in the land of the living, in the name of Jesus Christ. And may you go up in Jesus' mighty name. May doors of blessing open even this week. And wherever things are not in order, may God help you to set them in order and to streamline things so things may work well. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and the GFM team, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.